Hey guys, Rad the Reptile here with another edition of Rad's Gaming. Today we are going to pl be playing some Europa Universalis 4 as Savoy. We're going to be the little 6 province minor Savoy, so let's get going with the goal of hopefully taking all of Italy as Savoy. Let's get things set up. First off, going to be some visors. Production efficiency, I'm not going to need missionaries. Diplo reputation. Next mission relations. Let's get a royal marriage and alliance with Burgundy. So form an alliance, perfect mission. Let's get a royal marriage with them and. Let's just improve relations with Austria. Be a good start. Bump up the speed. Build force limit. Force limit. Force limit. Force limit. Eleven. So let's build three knights. One, two, three. Lower our costs. I don't need the last advisor. Alright, we are good to go. We are in a marriage with Burgundy. There we go. Do, do, do. And let's get an alliance. <clears throat> the goal is going to be to get an alliance with Burgundy and then pretty much use Burgundy to fight my wars for me. You know, not that I can't fight wars or get an army going, but as Savoy, kind of a small nation, a little weak. It's a lot easier to have someone like Burgundy out there. Uh, I'll take Mantua. Fighting alongside me then to... Let's convert Vaud to our culture. Okay. It's easier when you have someone big like Burgundy. And the reason that I'm choosing Burgundy over... say France or someone like that is because France tends to go to war a lot and I don't want to have to put up with that. We'll take the Papal Saints. I don't want to have to put up with that. You know, France gets themselves into bad situations all the time. We are improving relations. So I don't want to get stuck in France's wars. Burgundy gets into wars too, but usually Burgundy's smart enough to not go to war with like Austria, for example. France winds up at war with the Holy Roman Empire in Austria all the time, and it really does ruin things. All right, you come home. Let's, can't diplo you. Hmm. Can get Venice, be a lot of troops. Yeah, let's get Venice. Oh, never mind. let's not get Venice. Let's just improve relations so we can get Venice. Make Venice happy so we can ally Venice. It'll be useful throughout the entire game. I have a lot of troops. Especially for my first mission, which is going to be Switzerland. You know, or Milan. Milan's a little. Uh, allied with Provence. Switzerland will be easy. They're not going to get any allies. Nobody likes the Swiss early on. So they'll be very easy to take. Alright, let's just get going. Making Venice happy. You happy enough to ally me? You are. So let's get Venice. Come home. Get me Venice. Thank you. Good. And let's go fabricate a claim on Switzerland so we can grow. Give me a claim on Wall Street. Okay, okay. Do, do, do. Convert culture and move. The rest should have proper. Yeah, everything else is proper. It's just these two. Because they were taken from the Swiss. Let's 
So now with Burgundy and Venice on my side, I should be able to beat up on Switzerland easy. That's going to be a war from three sides. You know, us from the bottom, them from the right, and Burgundy from the left. Just overwhelming. Honestly, I could probably take Switzerland on my own, but it's just so much easier when you have Burgundy involved. Because they bring... Look at all these troops they're going to bring to this battle. <sighs> Makes life easy to have them. Bohemia, declared war, Austria. Have fun with that. How are you doing, Austria? Austria's gonna be a nuisance because I'm planning on taking stuff from the Holy... I mean, all this is Holy Roman Empire, and Austria's just gonna get annoyed by it. Burn, discovered. Alright, so aggressive expansion. That's a downer. How much? Aggressive expansion. Military coalition of Genoa. Okay. That's annoying. No, if it's just Genoa, that's not gonna be a problem at all. If you guys think you hate me now, wait until I take Switzerland. You're gonna be furious. How are you going, by the way? Oh, good. Provence has a claim already. That's it's fine. We'll eventually get them. It's nice to have to take Provence because then you get that nice little trading port right there. Super helpful. fleet's miserable, don't even have a light ship. But, we're not worried about the oceans right now. We are worried about Switzerland and getting that CB. This could be in Navgo. I think we all saw that coming. Hmm. Prestige and lose manpower, or prestige and lose a little bit of money. That was easy. I like prestige though. Do, 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 do. Almost got him. Burgundy, how happy are you? You're France. You're Burgundy. Very happy. How do you feel about that? Uh, it's not that bad of aggressive expansion, actually. Oh, you know what? Before I'm too stupid. Do, do. Rivals. Set them as a rival. That was dumb. Oh well. Good, we have a claim. Let me see something. Diplomacy. If I declare war right now, I will get Burgundy, the Papal States, Venice. Everyone will come. So, <clears throat> it's up my money. Let's get ready to declare on the Swiss. You know, I'm going to declare now. I'm far enough away from them that they're not going to come at me. So war is declared, and let's double check. Yep, Switzerland versus all of us. They have really zero chance. You can improve my relations. You like that we're in a war together? Good. You like that we're in a war together? Good. We're gonna go take them in a second. Move my guys up. Let's lower the speed a little bit. One big thing, I do need to make sure I get the capital. Or else, it's going to be a little sad. Now I need to make sure it's actually me who takes the capital. Okay, there's the capital. He's moving out. And... I'll go help in the battle and finish him. Then I'll move on his capital. Should be able to get there almost in time. Alright, we've got him. He's done. And there goes the Swiss military. And with it, any hope he had. Alright, Swiss military down. Let's leave a siege. Let's go hit him while we still can. Finish you off before you build back up. All right, he's got nothing left, so siege over. And siege over. Won't be enough to take it, but with units in every area, he won't be able to rebuild, so we can pump up the speed. And let's take a very weakened, unloved Switzerland. 
no one cares because nobody likes Switzerland. So, not going to be a problem in anyone's eyes. Now he's built a little bit of an army. I guess I'll move these three down to say hi to him. Anyone gonna come? No? Okay. And I'm not coming. Yeah, my allies will get on him. Hopefully. Well, kill him. Kill him. Fine. I'll do it all by myself. Okay, and let's just split you two, just so we can't rebuild any more units. There, no more building. Worried about taking later. Right now, just no more rebuilding. I don't need to fund them anymore, because we've got him, so money down. And let's go. It doesn't matter if they're low-funded. Nothing's coming to get me, so I can just take everything. His whole country has fallen. He's lost, like, every single war, but it's only at minus 1%. Makes sense to me. Okay, next area. Go get it. It. Next area, go get it. Combine you guys together. I own it, right? Good. Wonder if I can piece them out now. Well, I need a diplomat, so let's try that. Will you take peace. Okay. You. Vassal? Nope, not yet. Keep trying. I'm sure he'll vassalize in a little bit. I mean, he will vassalize, but maybe we won't have to take everything for that to happen. Just make life a little easier. I'm going to get a lot of aggressive expansion for vassalizing him, but it's worth it. It pretty much doubles my country. It's going to take me from 6 to 11 provinces and really take me from a minor power into a relatively important piece. And besides, I can always just talk people out of aggressive expansion. Alright. Take, we're already doing that, improve relations with Genoa, accumulate of 100. I can do it. Yeah. Who's this? Milan wants an alliance? No, because at some point I'm going to want to take Milan. So I don't want them to like me. One of the problems with trying to get Italy, all these places are impossible to vassalize, with the exception of Urbino. Urbino can be vassalized, but the rest of it? And Urbino's hard because usually Austria or Aragon will gobble them up before you can. But it's so hard to take Italy because all these places just don't want to be vassalized. Either it's like Sien and they don't have, they can't have royal marriages, the papacy, or Mantua, which you think is so small and easy, actually has like ridiculous worth, and so it's almost impossible to vassalize it. See if I go to like try to vassalize. I'm getting minus 72 for just how much their tax is compared to mine. You know, Ferrar is a little smaller, but they have a vassal, so we can't vassalize them. So many things going against you trying to vassalize someone in this game. Lose stability. I'll lose the power. I'd rather lose the power like that than lose stability. Stability is way too important in this game. Alright, free diplomat. Can I get you to accept being a vassal. Yes. Yes, I can. Will you give me money? Yes, you will. Good. Alright, welcome to the group. 
Hi, welcome to the country. Nice to see you. We got a vassal. Woohoo! Alright, guys, move over. And now the entire area is furious at me. But that's okay. Um, do, do, do. A mission to make you happier. Let's do it. Improve relations. That's my mission. I'm going to do my mission. <sighs> Tuscany's in a coalition against me. Alright, I can get another advisor. Um, reinforce speed, definitely. And I can build how many more units? Three more. Alright, so let's go knight. Soldier, soldier. Okay. You boys here. And then we just gotta heal a lot. Milan is in a coalition against me. Insulted. That type of stuff doesn't matter. They won't move on me. With Burgundy at my side, they're not gonna make a move. Because even with these three against me, Venice, Mantua, and Burgundy would just crush them. Oh, Venice is not gonna be my. I'm a rival now? We're not going to be allied very long. Okay, come home from Burgundy. They like me enough. I want to keep Venice. They bring a lot of units in use. Go get them. Thank you. group our guys up, improve relations so that people like me, and rebuild our army. Doo, hooray! Group up. Good. Still got a good amount of manpower left. Yearning for diplomats. Let's go get in some papacy. Um, 20 for a 44 year old? Sure. It's mine. You can't have them. Liquor act. I hate the liquor act. It's not worth it. We got peasants. Is that going to break the vassalization? If they get unvassalized by the peasants, what do the peasants want? What do you want? They took it. What are they going to make them do? Are they no longer a vassal? No, still in the personal union. So what did that do? I don't get it. I don't know. Diplomacy. What's my chance of vassalizing? Ugh, still can't. Making you happy, maybe you'll drop this rivalry. But with that would be awesome. Want to drop the rivalry? No. Okay. Got to get on your good side next. Even at minus thirty-two, I'll be able to get them easy. How's Genoa coming along? Oh, you set me as a rival. I'm not going to be able to do that mission. That stinks. All right, I'm giving up on Genoa. Forget it. Forget the mission. It's not happening. Just canceling that. It's it's not worth it. Rather improve relations with these guys. Get Switzerland happy. I can get them to like me. It's just not worth all the effort. You know, Venice is possible, but... Oh, they broke their alliance with me. How how absolutely lovely of them. And they won't retake it. Fine. Everyone getting so angry. You know what? In a coalition against Austria. Let's go take Hungary. They'll make good friends. Royal marriage, please. 
That'd be a good ally. They'll wind up in wars with people, but they're gonna hate the same people I hate. Whoa. Apparently, that war went pretty well for Austria. Okay. Good for them. Alliance. Oh, or I could have done that. Yeah, either or. That was stupid. I got distracted by this. I didn't realize Austria just went out and tore up. God, you guys are going to be a problem. And you don't like me. Who's in the coalition against you? Hungary. Romania. Hmm, do I want to try to... No, not worth it. I don't want to try to bait the coalition into attacking them just yet. Alright, now who do I want to not hate me? I gotta get France up. I don't want France coming, so I'm gonna make them a little happier, and we'll go from there. Austria happy, maybe France happier. Let's check on my papal importance. 25, 25, good. Love to get someone loyal in there for me. National ideas. Awesome. Alright. I'm gonna go with diplomacy idea. I happen to love the diplomacy ideas. I think they're really good and useful. The extra dip the extra diplomat is just so relevant at all moments. Papal states. Let's get Milan to like me so they get out of that coalition. That'll be a good start. Now just working on getting an annexation of Switzerland, which kind of sounds like some really cool football play. I don't want to take any other, I could take other places, but I don't want to just because I don't want to get any more aggressive expansion for the moment. Switzerland will be good enough to incorporate. If I wind up in someone else's war, I'm fine. Like if Hungary goes to war with Austria and I get pulled in, that's fine, but I don't want to create my own problems. I've got enough. Plus, I don't like my manpower. Oh, good. More stability drops. No. Ugh. Minus three. Boo. It's the second time I've gotten that. Game not liking me. Fourteen. How are you rebuilding? Decently. Good. All right. You guys were getting along good. Feeling a little better? No. Oh, they also don't like the rejected alliance, so yeah. That, that makes sense. Who are your rivals? Who is Venice's rival? Hungry. They don't like. And they're rivaled with me. Hmm. Are you rivaled with me? Yep, me, Milan, and Tuscany. So actually, I'm gonna set you as a rival. Because that will make Milan and Tuscany happy. And I'm good with that. Now we'll get that same rival thing going. Where's enemy of an enemy? There we go. That'll start building for the two of them. And that can hopefully pull out two people in the coalition against me. Where's that coalition? Yeah, it'll keep Genoa, but as long as these two drop, maybe we can start a little anger at Genoa. Do you want to get along with you two? There's so many people I want to get along with. Ugh. Who are your rivals? Rivals are... Uh, Matsu Urbino... Marry you, but it's not worth it. Yeah. And you're still in a personal union, right? Of course. So, I think that's a good start. We got Switzerland. We're working on getting them. Got some potential targets that I can go for. 
think for now this is a good time to leave off. So thank you guys for joining me. I'm Rad the Reptile. Please feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Comment below if there's maybe some things you'd like to see more of. And I will see you guys next time when we will work on taking over Italy as Savoy.